Well, this is our first uh, video in this channel and we're going to talk about uh, quick uh, cataract surgery using fact mollicification technique. First of all, we do the first 2.2 uh, millimeter incision and lateral incision. Uh, we have a nice microscope so, so we don't need the type blue in this moment to, to dye the interior capsule. Um, well, we just place this purse of viscoelastic and then you, we use a 25 gauge needle. Uh, we do not use cystitome at this time, in this moment. And finally, we, we try to use uh, capsulorexis forceps in order to make a 5.5 millimeter uh, capsulorexis in order to place an IOL whose uh, measures are approximately six millimeters. And this is a vine curvilinear capsule erexis. Posterior to this point, it's important to make a hydrodissection in order to separate the nucleus from the capsular bag. And we have to make sure that, that this nucleus is free. So we have to rotate this this nucleus. Once this the nucleus is free from the back, uh, we have now to do the facimulsification technique. We're using the Infinity FACO system by Alcon uh, with very specific parameters that in order in other video we will discuss. I am pretty convinced that we all the the, the cataracts can be chopped and. Um, I finally use this, this is my favorite chopper, it's a Catena Anise chopper and we're uh, doing a horizontal chop at this time. One of the, the favorite and one of the most important tips in fact emulsification is not to move uh, the, the FACO uh, instrument. Uh, Finally, we used uh, irrigation aspiration piece to finally aspirate the remnant cartex. This piece that we are using right now, it's very fits tightly at the incision of 2.2 millimeters. And with this, uh, with this, Aspiration piece, the incision may be enlarged, that's why we have to place a nylon suture at the end of the surgery. Now we place cohesive viscoelastic to form the bag and place the IOL within it. We are using a one piece natural Acrisoft IOL since the patient has hyperopic LASIK prior surgery. Now at this time it's very important to notice that the cartridge that we use to insert the IOL is a D1 and we have to watch out how, we're, how we are placing the IOL because in the process of insertion one of the haptics may be amputated. It's important to verify that, I, uh, the, that the IOL is properly placed within the bag and uh, here is where I place the, the suture, the nylon suture, the main incision. Finally, I try to recommend to all my fellow residents to aspirate viscoelastic from the interior chamber 
and from the back of the IOL in order to to um, not to create myopic shifts into the refraction at the, at the final stages of uh, post-operative period. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you next time.